sub brothers and sub sisters, welcome back to subsistence. I am Eki Thump, as always. Uh, so here's what's going to happen. First of all, we are going to take a suggestion from Manitoba Misanthrope and reduce our stock of chickens a bit. We're going to take this guy out and uh, take this level 10 chicken as well. And we're not going to replace them immediately. We're going to go down to two chickens and shut ourselves in the door and glitch the game out. We're going to go down to two chickens and uh, we're going to butcher the high level ones and uh, cook this high grade chicken meat just because. Uh, oh, have I got any veg left? No, it um, doesn't matter. The tomatoes are nearly ready. Uh, the reason we're going to do that is hopefully they will take less food and water, which means we need to use less tomatoes, which means we can get started on a second uh, bed of tomatoes over here. Then once we've got two of these going, uh, we're going to get some more chickens, stick them in the house, and like have double the amount of uh, fruit and veg coming in, and hopefully support them that way. Because uh, we are very short on tomatoes. This grow light is doing the business, but only just. Uh, and we, well, I want to expand to get this second bed out. So that's what's happening there. Uh, apart from that, um, I'm not exactly sure what to do. I, I really should get on with building the legs on that thing. Uh, so maybe I'll go out and do a bit of wood chopping today. Oh, the tomatoes are ready. That's fantastic. Are they all ready? Yep, they're all ready. So I'm not going to be able to get an entire second bed, but uh, right, so here's what we're going to do, we're going to get all the seeds out of eight of them, and plant those. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So they're going through. And I think I'm going to take two seeds. So I've still got six tomatoes left. I'm going to plant these two seeds here. When they grow, they'll turn into four tomatoes and then eight. So we don't, we're not beholden to finding tomato seeds out in the world. Uh, we can do that. Now I would need to put a grow light on here, I'm going to need more iron and more copper. I really want to put a grow light on there. Uh, it depends if I can muster the resources. I'm just going to eat one here. We've got plenty of copper, uh, we need to refine... this is potassium. Holy shit, that's all of our iron. Mother of God. Can't be, there must be some in the refinery or something. Yeah, there's some here. So we're going to turn the refinery on, uh, we're going to get some power out there, uh, let's grab some scrap, let's grab these chickens before they, oh shit, never mind, that was premium grade chicken meat, um, it actually still gives plus four protein, even burnt as it is, that cooks really fast, I've got to keep my eye on those. Uh, damn it, I don't have enough iron. Okay, I've got to wait. I've got to wait for more iron. Okay, anyway, the chickens we do have out here are going to need a bit of sustenance, I think. Actually, no, maybe not. They're only at 86. They could possibly wait till morning. Got plenty of bottles of water here. Uh, does anything need refilling? This one's okay. This one will need topping off. Did I plant the seeds there? Yeah, I did. It's just two on the right. Uh, I'm also going to need to eat something else. Let's eat the cooked steak. I could really stand to cook some of these bits of meat I've got in the fridge. Um, I'll need, I need to keep raw livers if I can. Why is there fat in the fridge as well? That doesn't need to be there. Ok, 
Okay. So cook, cook, and cook a steak. Right, let's drop off what can be dropped off. Fat biofuel nails. We've got plenty of nails that we don't. We've got like nine walls worth of nails here. Uh, and one wall's worth of planks, I think. So, we need more planks. We need more cordage. Let's make some cordage. Uh, right, let's continue dropping stuff off in the chests. I like to make sure I've got a nice, clear inventory. Uh, scrap. And we need to refill some of the water bottles. We'll do that in the morning. Okay, uh, I'm going to be doing admin tasks for the rest of the night, probably. So, I will cut here and I will see you in the morning. Good morning, good morning, rise and shine. Let's get to the whatever we're doing today. Um, I didn't quite get enough iron fragments overnight. I'm still waiting for that thing to finish refining them for me. So, I'm just making sure that everything's topped off before we go let's see how the animals are doing what the that was a gunshot who the fuck was shooting at what I honestly wasn't expecting any great amount of uh, contact with the enemy today. Was that a good shot? It certainly fucking sounded like it. It sounded like someone was standing like right here, firing a gun at something. We're not owed any revenge attacks. Um, the one revenge raid from that raid on Punta Base 3 happened yes uh, yesterday. So I don't know why anyone would be over here particularly, unless a, a rogue pack just ranged this far for some reason. Well... I mean, I'm standing up here with my arse hanging out and no one's taking a shot at it, so... Dunno, anyway, uh, right. So let's check on the chickens. Got an egg, got a little bit of fertilizer. Uh, they need some more water. Now I do have some bottles of water building up still because the wellhead is still on. So we can meet their needs. Uh, Food there. How are we doing for food? We're okay. I might just eat this egg. Just to make it nice and full. Um, power should be... Yeah, running fairly low. Might turn this off for a bit and just let it build back up. But I am going to put this grow lot in... Uh, actually, I'm going to put this grow lot in later because I don't have the power for it. When we get back, maybe. Uh, that being the case, I should leave these metal fragments behind just in case the worst does happen. Oh, I should also drop this fertilizer off. So, uh, because of the new disease system, 
again just in case we do get bitten and diseased by an animal and have to run somewhere at 60% stamina. I am going to start carrying these uh, stim packs with me just in case. I don't expect to have to use them very much so they're not on my hotbar. But they could come in handy. I did see a crate out here. It must have despawned. Is that it there? No, that's part of a tree. Whatever. Let's go to the water. Hello. Good morning. Good morning, wolves. Good morning. So, we're going to get the grow light installed today. Uh, I don't think I'm going to get the power efficiency thing on the grow light. Uh, that requires uh, a bunch more power and mass, plus a bunch more iron. I, I think I have enough copper to do it. But uh, I need to refine a lot of iron. I'm not sure if I even have enough. Maybe. We'll see. But yeah, so I've actually run a bit low on iron. Some of those frivolous lockpicks I made might actually be coming back to haunt me. That said, I mean, we did get some of our copper out of the the um, lock crates, so it swings in roundabouts, really. If I hadn't spent the iron on the lock crates, then maybe I wouldn't have enough iron to... Uh, maybe I wouldn't have enough copper. I'll have too much iron and not enough copper. Okay, full of water. Let's go back and uh, chop a couple of the trees, get the fire filled up, see what the power situation's like. I'm not turning the wellhead off just yet. Uh, I do still like having that passive water stock building up. Uh, I've now got four bottles that I honestly don't need to use because I've got these six canteens. Um, but it will be nice, maybe if I can get, I don't know, like a stack of plastic bottles of water. Do you know, I don't think those gunshots were actually nearby gunshots. I think they were just bullets that happened to be pinging off near me. It might have been just a hunter in contact with some animals further along. And I've got to make sure to keep picking up fibre. I've got to remember I've burned through that cordage stock we had built up, so I now need to start to gathering more of the stuff. Okay, what's the power situation? Still not... Jesus, we're actually not gaining power very fast. What are we gaining here? About 0.2 per second? Oh, I need to cut some wood. logs ought to do. We're going to have a chance to cut more at some point today. Uh, recharge that and three bottles at a time. So yeah, there's the water stock that the wellhead's built up for me and there may even be more coming out by now. Yeah, there's another bottle. I'll be honest, I don't even know how big a water stack goes. 
I've never actually like built up a stockpile of water before. Right, let's keep an eye on everything. You're good for the moment. You're decent for the moment. Uh, it's honestly good. This I don't think this arrangement is the best. You can see how there's a shadow on the like the plant trays. Um, I think they've actually been growing slower than they should be, even during daytime, because they're in a, like a shady spot. So having this grow light on here that sets it to 100% all the time has probably done actually more for us than just letting them grow during the night. It's actually like improved their grow rate during the daytime as well. No one's leveled up again yet. Uh, they are. They do seem to be going through food and water a bit slower. They're all fully healed up, and so they are leveling up now. This guy's only level one, so he's not going to produce it. This girl is only level one, so she's not going to be producing eggs for a little while. I thought you I was going to keep forgetting to do that. Uh, it was pointed out to me that all the chickens are actually female because they lay eggs, and I keep calling them dudes and lads and guys. And no, they're, they're, the they're girls. Um. This should be boiled by now. There we are. Let's get the other three in. Uh, right, so what are we actually doing with our time today, other than building up power to put the grow light on there? Well, not wanting to refine metals means we're a bit stuck for any of the other upgrades today, so it's probably just a case of chopping wood and uh, gathering materials for building. And whatever sort of fun scrapes that may happen to lead to. Let's check again. So, uh, so, ah, four planks for wooden walls. So, okay, we've actually got plenty of planks. What we need is the fibre for the cordage. So let's stay in motion a little bit. Getting fibre is very much the same as gathering crates. You need to cover a lot of ground and find the individual items. That's a, uh, a wolf. Those rogues are still by the water, so I... No, oh, look at that. Ammo crate just popped into being right in front of me. And there's another lot of crates, which we can't get. Same old story. Look at that, a wolf and a bear. I can make one more cordage so far. Let's go this way a bit, there seems to be a lot of animals over that way. Blueberries, nice, like it. That's a crate. Maybe I should head up to the mountains. I do need to start gathering a bit more iron ore. So 
so heading up towards the rocks might not be the worst idea. Or at least like staying in the rocky areas. Two free cordage, that's fantastic. Uh, I'm going to take this bow off my hotbar, I honestly don't need it at the moment. There we go, there's a bit of iron. Any more on this rock? No. Uh, okay, don't want to go down that way. That's leg breaking territory. I actually have to go home and eat another banana at some point. Uh, no, banana? What the fuck am I talking about? A tomato. Uh, although, I do have these blueberries with me. Maybe if I can find an apple. Uh, that's that lock crate. Worthless. Chase? Nope, good. So many nails. I've got literally over a hundred at the moment at the current time. Which is a very nice amount of nails. We need to find the other stuff to use them with. Yeah, no, nope, thought I saw something there. Just the shadow. How many cordage per wall? Two. That's one, two, and we've got three, four. We've got some back at base. We haven't got a lot, but we do have a few cordages in storage. I've got to make sure to get some building in today. I've been putting it off the last couple of days. For one reason and another. Is it? It's actually it's afternoon. Um, I think I might head back to base once I've mined this. Let's head back towards base and uh, start producing walls and getting them laid down. We have got a bit of iron today. That's good. Oh, there's another one. fibre. Yoink. Uh, I'm getting a bit hungry anyway, so probably not the worst to go back and recharge. Eat a tomato, eat a steak or some chicken. Get topped up. Oh, blueberries. Building crates, exactly what I want on a building day. Fibers, there's another one. There's that lock crate again, still not despawned. I'm still okay for scrap, but I will grab this. Oh, look. More 
cotton seeds. I could consider putting down a third bed and just growing a little bit of cotton. Uh, obviously I don't need it for armour anymore, but uh, what I am starting to become conscious of is that I'm running a little bit low on cloth. We do have a, a decent amount built up still. It's not like run out yet. But we need it for health kits and bandages, even though we don't need it really anymore to build armour. Okay, now we should be alright to... If I get this out, we should be okay to um, get the grow light in here now. Need one more chip set. Okay, and uh, we do want to build up a little bit more power, so let's leave that. Leave it off and we'll turn it on tonight. What got turned off? No, this is still turned on. Our power usage seems to have gone down slightly. I'm wondering what exactly has been turned off. I can't find it. Uh, let's fill this up. I think we've got enough planks for what we want to do today. Uh, don't I have some walls somewhere already or did I use those? Maybe I used them. We're short on. Actually short on planks. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six walls is a decent amount for a day though. Make sure I get these down, possibly get some more if I feel like I need them. Let's eat the egg, eat a tomato, have a drink. There we go. Some fertilizer, we've got. Do we have any scrap? I must have put it away already. And iron ore, and. Biofuel, plant, uh, med plants. Some of that, some of these, some of those. How are you lot doing for food and water? Uh, you could stand to have another tomato, couldn't you? Maybe a, a canteen of water as well. go. Bon appetit. Okay, we should get the rest of this leg done. Oh yeah, easily. We've still got four more, I think we only need two more. Excellent. Start getting this down. This may not, not need to go all the way into the ground, as long as it looks like it's sort of shaped into the rock, but I'm not sure how far down it will need to go to do that. Definitely further down than this, anyway. Hmm. 
No, it will need to come all the way down. The legs, this side of it sticks out too far. It sticks out further than this rock. So this will need to come all the way down here. That should only be one, two, three, maybe four. And the other side, obviously, it will be a piece of piss. That will only take like two or three. And that will disappear into the rock, so that will be fine. Uh, then we've got to decide what we're going to do about these dangly bits in the middle. Uh, do we leave them like that, or do we put a ceiling across and like, try and hide them a little bit? Uh, we'll figure that out a little bit later. A little bit later. How's the power looking? Still a bit low. Um, just for tonight, am I actually... Slam some biofuel in the generator, just to get things moving again. Wait a minute. I just split that stack and then just put all of it back, didn't I? There we are. Okay, let's turn this on. So that then goes up to 100% light and those tomatoes will grow really quickly. You are out of fertilizer, so you need to be fully recharged. Let's do that with the magic chicken poop. And fill up with, I think it's going to take two bottles of canteen water. There you go. Are you going to be alright overnight? You should be, you're at 69. And you are basically still full, that's nice. Uh, right, uh, more wood, I think, just to make sure the fire doesn't go out overnight. So let's eat some chicken. So I've definitely got the copper to do this. I'm going to need to refine 18 fragments of iron and I have four. So, ooh, actually, of course I can. There's still iron in the refinery, isn't there? We should be okay to turn this on the generator is still still going pretty hard. So let's leave this running overnight. Uh, in the morning we should have enough iron and hopefully enough power to get the efficiency upgrade in there as well so that's going to cost us um, less than that, whatever the other one costs. Um, looks like we're all set. All set for the evening. Uh, we're all fed and watered, everyone's happy, everything's growing. Um, I'm not sure what we're doing tomorrow, but it is about time we started work on the other solar power plant, uh, plant panel as well. But if we're spending the power on that upgrade, uh, it might be worth waiting on that. And we're just going to keep stockpiling water. I don't know, we'll see what I feel like doing tomorrow. Anyway, that ought to do it for one episode. So, do it if you've enjoyed it. That was Subsistence, and I've been Ecky Thump. Uh, like and subscribe if you'd like to see more gameplay of this game, and I will see you next time.